hello guys welcome once again to your amazing amazing channel the scoop tv the scoop tv is just about a, a, a youtube channel that talks about movie review before they come out in the cinema so today i'm going to review a very very interesting Hollywood movie once again hope you guys have been hope you guys watched the last one and dropped because on this channel we talk about prospective interesting nigerian movie that are about to hit the cinema or that have already hit the cinema and many people are not aware of so on today's um, movie recap we're talking about a very very interesting movie that has the likes of bimbo ademoye many of you know the kind of girl bimbo is bimbo is a very very she's an action lady she doesn't really she doesn't Play with her crafts, like I give it to her. She's always good at what she does. Be by the way, ah, that I wanted to see that girl all, all my life. I know one else, yeah. Then the next on this particular movie is Kenneth Okoli. You know that has some bearded guy now, very silent killer. He doesn't really, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't show up much. Kenneth Okoli is another person in this particular Nollywood movie. So, guys, stay tuned and watch out for this movie i won't be saying the name <laughs> i'll be saying the name yeah if you need the name come to my comment section and tell me what's the name of this movie or send me a link to this movie then i'm going to do justice i'm going to reply uh, all my comments i'm going to tell you guys the name of this movie and i'm saving the best for the last the last but not the least mr macaroni the sensational mr macaroni the Nigerian, the one of the leading Nigerian comedian right now on YouTube, on social, on all social media platforms. Mr. Macaroni also featured on this movie. Damn! <laughs> I think I would like to uh, tell me the name of this movie, but calm down. I never let us review it together. Okay, this movie they talked about. This movie just talked about a lot of interesting life scenario, and I begin to ask myself. Do people like this to exist? Okay, um, um, um Kenneth played the role of a rapist and um, he came to get something in Bimbo's shop. Bimbo's sells have a very big victory for herself. So she sells food, sells drinks, sells lots of things in the store. So Kenneth came to our store to eat and eventually Bimbo's best friend recognized Kenneth as someone that raped her while she was growing up. But because of she was drunk, she wasn't really sure of her answer. So she was a little bit skeptical of um, the whole thing. So Bimbo uh, approached her that, why, why were you looking at my um, customer like that? Do you know me for what's bringing up that look? Then she replied that um, he, he resembles someone that um, if that wife um, she was growing up, but you no, know, like maybe it's just it's cause of the alcohol. But that why would she even drink alcohol during work hours and all that? And that really led to a very very serious confrontation between both of them. And people had to chase her away from the store because she was not her brother and she's a sister, not her friend, her sister. So it led to a little bit of arguments because normally you're not supposed to be drinking, but now the girl actually want poisoned a food to give it to Kenneth, the alleged um, rapist in the red power she was doing. So she allegedly poisoned the food that Kenneth was supposed to eat and he went to serve him. And while they were doing the argument, she opened up to um, um, Bimbo that um, I poisoned that food because my mind is telling me that um, this particular guy was the exact person that raped me and all that. We were obviously went to meet Kenneth that she should he shouldn't eat the food. And God really has not really touched the food, it was still fresh in his but she, she took the food from him and kept it in the kitchen and went to comfort her sister that are you are you are you are you okay or something? Like why do you why do you want to accuse my uh, uh, um, customer of something you are not still sure of? Maybe we might be like it sounding like this because of the influence of alcohol you took and all that. Well, the sister was kind of, she was 50-50 because she was drunk and she she knew what she saw, so people had to chase her away from the store. So just um, 30 minutes later, um, Kenneth started 
showing his true color. <laughs> you know, you don't um, hide, um, you don't hide something forever. It is amazing. You so, can I started um, trying to get close to Bimbo. Bimbo resisted. She tried as much as possible to get close to Bimbo. Bimbo resisted. She resisted. She was still trying to fight. I know oh, we just met. Blah blah blah. And he held out the wall. Started to try to caress and all that, but people hit him and ran away. So let me, I'll have to stop here. You know, you know the thing, I have to stop here. So if you need the movie, send me a message on my comment section. I'm going to reply everybody. You understand? I'm going to reply you. So, and in another part of the movie, Mr. Macaulay also played his own parts. I didn't mention, but I don't, I don't, I don't to say the whole movie um, uh, um maybe yeah so i want to get you make sure you um comment um, um send me the link on my comment section and i'm going to send you guys the link yes i'll send everybody the link right so i mean Sam also played a very very big part in this movie by um bringing a side chick to be boss restaurant but eventually you know mr mcconnell is just freaking freaky he's freaking freaky daddy now so he doesn't throw up there just pray he doesn't go a long way to his marriage because he's always acting that kind of um, cheating husband. So, so he brought his side chick to the restaurant to eat. Bimbo came and attended to him and all that. Then, why they were why they, why they were about to serve his side chick food? His wife came in. Surprisingly, no, um, Mr. Malcolm, I know always, Mr. Malcolm is always very, very controversial and all that. So his wife came and started like, what's going on here? Yeah, who called the wife? It was not so who called you here? Yeah, why are you here? Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I was not like trying to hit him down. So this is what you have been doing and all that. So Mr. Malcolm, Mr. Malcolm was trying to tell him that she's no more sexy for him again. She's always being like a baby man and she's no more attractive to him again. And just trying to justify it at that end. This is the this person that is eyes entering at that. She should go and improve on herself and it's not i won't, I won't say what mr kwani did is right but sometimes you see this housewife they just get married and decide to just start acting more challenge before i got married to you you're very very sexy you're very very attractive there's something that is pushing me to want to touch you but after you get married you are now trying to you feel you're married already now so you start behaving somehow I'll, I might lose interest in you. I'm just saying it. I'm just saying it. I'm not saying this it, is me in a real life situation. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. My family actually felt in the movie. He lost interest in his wife because the wife was now behaving not like she was behaving. She was now looking unattractive to him again because of the way she dressed, the way she acts and the rest. So that's what led me some kind to cheat in that particular movie. So guys if you really need the movie like this video subscribe for this channel Comments on this channel and we are trust me i'm going to drop you the um, movie link on the comment section just tell me the movie link i'm going to drop it so guys so please that is the name of the uh right end of this particular movie review so you don't forget to subscribe support or subscribe like and share our videos to your loved ones i hope you did justice to this movie so yes.